guys, I'm Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to share with you my recipe for my holiday spiced nuts. They are so simple to make, absolutely ridiculously delicious. I'm not kidding. The mixture of spices that you're gonna see might seem a bit odd, but don't knock until you try it. They are unbelievable. These are served at our every event, pretty much. We had an engagement party that we got together last night for my brother-in-laws, and of course these were on the buffet table in martini glasses, because that's just how I roll. Um, and they're so easy. I mean, my, hu my husband and I always serve these at our holiday party that we have every single year for good reason. They're good, they're easy. There you go. The, sim the ingredients for them are super simple. You're gonna need some mixed nuts, and this can be totally up to you what kind to use. You can also use just one type of nuts if that's what you want. And I buy mine that are seasoned with kosher salt, but if you buy them unsalted, then you wanna add some kosher salt to this recipe. But besides that, you're gonna need some fresh, finely chopped rosemary, brown sugar, ground cumin, a pinch of cayenne pepper, black pepper, and a little bit of unsalted butter. That's it. These are so good. It's unbelievable. So first thing you wanna do is get your oven to 350. Then the thing you wanna do is get your nuts and make sure that they are in a single layer because otherwise they're not gonna roast properly. And I'm gonna just pop these into the oven for around 10 to 15 minutes or until they're really nice and toasted and they're gonna smell lovely, they're gonna be golden brown and when we toss them in our spice mixture, you'll wait, you'll be in heaven. Now to make our mixture, I'm just gonna put in some butter that I melted and make sure it's unsalted butter right in there and I'm going to add in all the rest of my ingredients. Now, like I said, this might seem odd, but it makes such an incredible concoction of flavors. It's unbelievable. So all I'm gonna do is mix this around until the butter has pretty much melted, not melted, but coated all the brown sugar and all the spices. And what's gonna happen is, when we get the roasted nuts out of the oven. We're going to put them in here, directly in here, while they're still really, really hot. Because what happens is when you roast nuts, their natural oils start to come out. So when you put those hot nuts in here, the natural oil comes coming out of them are going to completely mix with the, with the spice mixture and coat each and every single one of them. So this might not seem like a lot, but there are some bold flavors that with those, spice, with those roasted nuts and natural oils, it's gonna create an amazing coating on each and every one of those nuts. I guarantee it. So I'm just gonna set these aside. I'm gonna set this aside until our nuts have beautifully roasted. My nuts are perfectly roasted. They're a nice, deep, golden roasted color. Fantastic. All their natural oils coming out of them. This is exactly what we want. So now, I'm just gonna put all of these, while they're very hot, immediately out of the oven. I'm gonna put them all in our spice mixture. And then I'm just going to give this a good stir and I'm gonna keep stirring for about 10 to 15 seconds or until, see you can immediately smell that spice mixture because of the hot nuts. Just mix this around until everything is well, well incorporated and coating the nuts just right. These just look perfect and they smell out of this world. Now you can serve these in a bowl, in a dish, whatever you like, but I absolutely love serving them either martini glasses or margarita glasses because when you're having a holiday party, you wanna make sure everything's like all over the, not all over the place in a bad way, but if I have two or three of these scattered around the table as opposed to one bowl in the middle of the table, then people can kind of walk around and get a little bit from here, a little bit from there, and it just works out really, really well. And it's also great because you know, they're in a high, nice high glass, so it's got texture, not, not texture, it, you know, it's got different, when your table should have different heights, different shapes, different color of platters, just to kind of bring attention to the food. Nothing, you know, fake fruits and all that stuff anywhere, I don't believe in any of that. I think the attention should be on the food, and this is a great way to do it. It's so good. So, so delicious. This is gonna be like my little treat tonight. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoy spending time with me. To get this recipe and others, go to www.learningkitchen.com. Mm. See you next time. Bye.